Hey everyone, Josh here. Today's video is a topic that comes up pretty frequently in some of my other videos, and that's how to remove an internal battery. Unlike older generations of laptops that had the removable battery on the outside, most modern laptops have the battery inside and actually require a little bit of disassembly to take it out. Today, we're gonna to look at my Lenovo laptop and we're gonna take the battery out and I'll walk you through the entire process from start to finish. Your laptop will be a little bit different depending on the brand and manufacturer that you have, but the process will be similar. In this video, I'll show you how to remove the back cover of your laptop, take out any of the screws or other fasteners holding the battery into your laptop case, and three, how to actually take the laptop battery out. This could be because you're replacing the battery or for any other reason. And then I'll show you how to put everything back together at the end. Let's get into it. All right, you do need some tools for this job. I've got a lot of things out here, but don't worry too much because you can get by with very little. The essentials you're gonna need are some sort of small Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, this is from a kit from iFixit that is extremely nice. Uh, I'll link to it in the description below, but you want one likely with a very small Phillips head on it. Uh, you can find any other small screwdriver that you may have around, but just know that it is gonna need a small head on the end. You're also gonna need some sort of pry tool. I have a few options over here. I do wanna point out, you probably shouldn't use any type of metal prying tool, uh, such as this one, because when you go to actually pry the laptop case off, it could scratch it or even damage some internal components. So you wanna keep to a plastic prying tool. Um, something that a lot of people have around the house, a guitar pick works very well. Just make sure it's a nice, sturdy uh, plastic guitar pick. There's also lots of other ready-made uh, sort of plastic prying tools that you can get online, um, such as uh, the razor blade style, guitar pick style, or even this uh, special tool that you can use for uh, prying. But anything that you have will work. You can even use a credit card if you are in a pinch. Uh, so now let's get into the laptop. Make sure that you have disconnected the power. There should be no AC power connected. And we can flip the laptop over to get started. Now that you have the laptop flipped over, you're gonna want to go ahead and unscrew all of the uh, screws holding the case down. There might be quite a few all around the edges and uh, usually one or two in the middle as well. Be sure that you're keeping track of these screws so you don't lose them. And note that uh, sometimes these screws are uh, different lengths or different sizes. Usually they're the same, but they can be slightly different. So be sure to pay attention as you pull them out to make sure that you put them back in in the correct location. Now that you've got all of the screws out, the case cover is still gonna be fairly difficult to remove um, because it is meant to click into place with little connectors all around the rim of the back cover. So this is where the prying tool will come in handy. Um, I'm gonna use the guitar pick because that's a pretty common item for people to use. Um, all you're gonna do is try to get into just a little crack somewhere in the case. You can see I've gotten one here. Um, it's sometimes it's easier to get in on the corner. It depends on how your laptop case is put together, but try to find some purchase somewhere. Um, don't stick the, uh, don't bend it extremely hard once you have it in there, because you can see the plastic of the case will actually start to bend. Um, what, instead what you wanna do is just once you've got it in, you want to drag it along the side um, try not, if you, if you meet resistance, then, you know, maybe try to um, pull it out and go from a different angle. And you can see that as I'm going around um, this way, you don't hear any clicks. You actually have to get this pointed a little bit more towards the case cover. As you go around, you'll start to hear some of those clicks. As it gets loose, you can go back through and get a better angle so that you can get these popped open. You'll just hear it click. You should hear it shouldn't hear anything cracking. You should just hear just the click of a, of a little connection in there uh, breaking loose. It's just a little plastic connector. Run that all the way through. And then once you've got that last one up, now note yours may be a little harder to get up. I've opened mine a couple of times, um, but just be careful, go slow, and be sure that you're not pushing the pick or whatever tool you're using into the laptop too far, or uh, that you're not bending the case on the outside because both of those things can damage your laptop. Once you've gotten the case loose, you can simply take it off and set it to the side. 
Is this video helping you so far? If it is, consider dropping a like and letting the community know in the comments that it works for you. Now, every laptop uh, internal layout is going to be a little bit different. Like I said, this is a, um, a, a, a Lenovo laptop, a couple of years old, but the basics are going to be the same. You're going to see usually a fan, a couple of covers here. You'll see a hard drive, and then this is what we're looking for. This is the battery. Um, you can see right here it does have the Lenovo brand, and you can see on here that it is a rechargeable lithium-ion battery, and you'll see some other markings on there, the recycling and lithium-ion uh, indicator. And so you you'll know that you've got the battery if you um, if you see those identifications So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually disconnect it from the motherboard before we do anything else But if you take a quick look, you'll see that uh, the The battery connector comes out here and connects to the motherboard right here This is the connector we want to remove so we're going to take our prying tool I'm going to grab this one just because it's easiest for the job and we're going to very carefully just pull on the edges. There's usually like a small plastic uh, ridge on this that you can use to uh, kind of grip on. You can even kind of work it a little bit with the cables, but be careful, don't pull it straight out. You can wiggle it a little bit once you've gotten it a little bit loose. Just very carefully, and you can see it's come out here. We'll just bend those over off to the side to get them out of the way. Now, once the laptop battery has been disconnected, we can go to uh, actually removing it from the laptop case. Um, in this particular laptop, it's held down by some screws. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew those one by one. Be sure to keep these screws in a separate location to your case screws, because they will be a different size. Make sure that if you are applying pressure, you're not applying too much pressure so that you uh, don't break or crack anything always take a look and see what it is that you're pressing down on. In this case, there's a metal support bar here. Um, over here, there's a plastic bracket. All right, and once you've got all the screws taken off, you wanna look around and make sure there aren't any other cables holding on to the battery. Here we have, looks like a speaker cable going around and it's tucked into this little uh, section here on the battery. Once you've removed all of those, you can simply lift it up and pull it out um, and you can see that the battery has been removed 100%. Uh, some laptop brands may have the battery actually glued into the laptop. It's not very common, uh, but it does happen. If it does, if you find that you have uh, an issue with the adhesive, you know what you'll have to do is when it's still in the case, See if you can use any of your prying tools. A credit card or something a little bit skinnier would probably help better for this to get down underneath and try to just rake it um, from the side around as much as you can to break up that adhesive uh, so that you can pull it out without breaking the case or damaging the laptop. So now you can either replace your battery if it was defective, or you can simply leave the battery out of your laptop if you'd rather use it without a battery. Yes, that can be done, and it can help preserve the life of your battery because you won't be putting charge cycles on it. Yes, you can do that. I will leave a link to that video in the top right of this one. Uh, but for now, if you um, are done inside, we can just put this laptop back together. I'll get that taken care of in uh, super speed. All right, well that was a quick and easy how to remove an internal battery from your laptop. Again, every uh, brand and manufacturer will be a little different, but these are the basics. If you're having issues with your battery and you need to replace it, or you're having another power related issue with your battery and you wanna remove it so that you can diagnose and troubleshoot it, this video will get you where you need to be and you can see that it's not as difficult as you might think. If you have any other questions about this that I haven't answered in the video, be sure to ask in the comments below and I will respond to you personally and maybe even make a video about it in the future. Thanks for watching.